Fora TV. The world is thinking. Weismann's notion is not merely figurative, it is literal as well. For example, where the West Bank's unlit, broken, potholed, or altogether unpaved Palestinian roads cross the well-lit, well-paved, vigilantly patrolled Jewish bypass roads, they, as in this picture, they plunge beneath them into tunnels. Jews traverse the landscape above, Arabs below. Israeli apartheid, in other words, functions in the vertical plane as well as the horizontal. One effect of this is, whenever possible, to render Palestinians invisible to Jewish colonists and to Israelis driving within eyesight of the West Bank. And if not invisible, then at least part of the background over and against which the modern infrastructure is built. Thus, Jewish colonists traversing the West Bank or Israelis driving on the highway parallel to the West Bank very often do not see Palestinians. They are in tunnels below or on the other side of the eight meter high separation wall. Seen from the Palestinian side, the wall is unmistakably a wall. Its brutalist design communicates unequivocally to Palestinians what Israel thinks of them. Seen from the Israeli side, however, the wall is often not really a wall. And as you know, they often talk about it as a fence rather than a wall. In many sections, like this one, it is smoothed over into the landscape, and its scale is disguised by shrubs, trees, and landscaping that gradually rises and falls offsetting the severity that is so brutally and expressively naked on the Palestinian side. These are, two same, these are the same section of wall. I took both these pictures, and they're just from opposite sides of the wall, one on the Israeli side, one on the Palestinian side, but it's the same 10 or 15 slabs of concrete. From the Israeli point of view, the effect is not only to render the Palestinians on the other side of the wall invisible, but even if only momentarily, to render the process of rendering them invisible itself invisible. When possible, in other words, the wall as the signifier, the sign of erasure, is erased in turn, as though there was some magic trick that would erase the Palestinians in the landscape without the trace of that erasure being itself evident. In other places, the wall is written into the landscape from the Israeli side in the sense that it is painted over in such a way as to render it as pure background. In some cases, a pristine landscape is painted on the wall replacing not only the actuality of the wall, but also the undesirable real landscape of living Palestinians. In other cases, the wall is painted over with decorative arches to disguise it as something other than what it actually is, even as something that connects like a Roman aqueduct rather than separates. 